Hey Primary 6 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of Math Mastery. Yesterday's question was a little more complicated than usual. It says Roy and Martha were given some money each. Again, not equal amounts, but some money. If Roy and Martha spent $3 and $2 each day respectively, Roy would still have $140 left when Martha would have spent all her money. If Roy and Martha spent 3 and 4 each day, respectively, Roy would have 2 one, 5 when Martha would have spent all her money. So how much money was given to each of them? So the starting is actually pretty, pretty simple. It's pretty, um, it's pretty, what's that word? Standard, okay? So Roy is here, Martha is here. For This, this is for uh, the first one over here, right? So it's for this part. So if Roy and Martha spend 3 to 2, so the, again, remember this question is about ratio and proportion. 1, 2, and one, two here. So Roy spent three units, Martha spent two units, and Roy would still have how much left? He would still have one hundred and forty dollars left. So just put here one forty. This is case number one. Okay, I got no enough space. I'm gonna take out my map Roy just logo for a while. Okay, and uh, this is for the second case. In a different color. Let me use black. Okay, in the second case, what happened was Roy spent the same amount, which is three units, but Martha spent how many units? Uh, Martha spent four units. Okay, four units. And Roy had how much left? Two, one, five. Ah, two, one, five left. Okay, so what does this mean? Okay, where did I put two here? <laughs> Martha, okay. So you want to understand that this question again is about what's the keyword? The keyword was ratio and proportion, as and big, and big as possible. Ratio. So, look at this. The ratio here and the ratio here is actually... Oops, there's a message later. You are much more important to me, okay? Roy, 3, this is 2. So, the proportion here is 3 is to 2. The proportion here is 3 is to 4. So, all you want to do is you want to make sure that this proportion over here and this proportion over here looks the same. Since Martha, and Martha here and Martha there is the same, what you can do is you can multiply it by 2. So, 3 times 2 equals 2. 4, 2 times 2 equals to 6, which is why I told you to do this. Divide it into 2, right? Divide it into 2, and what you, what you will see is you will find that Roy has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 is to 4, correct? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 is to 4 plus 140. From here, it should be quite obvious to you, okay? Um, how to find the answer. But since if, let's say, you can't see it yet, okay? What I want you to do is, I'm going to draw the whole thing out again for you, and you can see it very obviously, okay? Oops. Okay. So, here you go. Step one. Roy spent three, one, two, three, and had 140 left. This is Roy. Yeah. And then there's Martha. This is Roy 1, Martha and Roy 2. Okay, and in this case, Martha had 2. And in this case, later on, you will see that Roy would have how much? Just now. Roy would spend 3 amounts units, and he would still have 215, right? 215, second. Yeah. Let me see the question again. Yep, 215. Okay. Now, okay, I'm gonna make it's a bit more obvious, okay? Mark one and mark one. Martha one and Martha two. So look at this. Um, Martha spent four units in the second time around. Not three, but four. One, two, three, four. So in order for you to make sure that Martha two uh, Martha one looks like Martha two, all you have to do is make it into four units. Yes? Four units. And when you make it into 4 units here, you must make it into 6 units here because of ratio and proportion. So you have 6 units here. Now what do we know about Roy 1 and Roy 2? Roy 1 and Roy 2 both are have the same amount. So if you take a look, if you erase this part, oh, it's getting very messy. I don't like to do this because um, it's very messy. When you're messy, you can't see anything. Okay? In math, you need to make sure that everything is very clear. So in this case, <clears throat> this equals to this. So you can see this is 6 units. 6, oops, 
six units plus 140 actually equals to three units plus 215. So once you've done the working, you would notice that if you bring this over, 6 minus 3, you get 3 units. And you bring this over, 215 minus 140, you get 75. And hence, 1 unit is 75 divided by 3, which is equals to $25. So from here, you, you know what Martha had. Martha had 4 units, remember? So 4 times 25 is equals to 100. And Roy has, in this uh, scenario, it could be either 3 times 75, eh, sorry, 25 plus 215, or if you want, it could either be that, or it could be 6 times 25 plus 140, which will give you 75 to 290. And that is the answer. All right? Easy, easy peasy, okay? Hope you got that one right. If you are, you are a math prodigy. Good job. Now, I have one last question, which looks a bit like this. I don't want you to get freaked out by this question. It looks similar and it's not that difficult. So Farmer Brown has some chickens and ducks. If he sells two chickens and three ducks daily, there will still be 50 chickens left when all the ducks have been sold. If he sells three chickens and two ducks each day, there will still be 15 chickens left when all the ducks have been sold. My question to you is, how many more chickens than ducks does Farmer Brown have? Easy? Easy peasy. Pause this video, write the question down, and do it right now. And remember, the key word is, write it down three times okay again the, the the quote of the week is victory loves preparation i want to give a, a shout out to shireen because shireen did this question and she got it right and she used my principle of doing it three times over that means you do the question once twice and three times and when you've done done it you actually it actually goes into your head and when it goes into your head it becomes automatic when it becomes automatic you're going to be guaranteed automatic a's in your next math exam so remember, victory loves preparation. With that, you are a math prodigy. Good job.